Tony. This is SV Depatcher. We're building a cruising sailboat. Um, behind me there, cruising sailboat designed for a couple plus perhaps guests to, to travel the waters of the world. Um, and as you can see, progress quite good. Um, last week managed to pull her forwards a bit to give me what three meters of access at the aft end. And this week's been all about starting on the aft end. The combings need capping. I've put a little piece of uh, a fillet in at the back end where the, where the combings come together. And perhaps this week is a good week to give a bit of an outlook of, of how things are expected to progress at least. And uh, clearly there are a few major items to build. As you may know, the rudder is, is, is well in progress. But at some stage we've got to get a keel on her, lift her up and, and get the keel or build the keel first of all and get it underneath there. But before I do that, well, the first step I want to do is to get the boat properly sealed up. There's a few bits of paint missing. So the cockpit well is still not painted. Obviously this, this new piece of wood I'm putting on the aft end needs a bit of paint. There's a couple of other bits, a little bit on the anchor box need to be painted. And then when that's done, I'll be in a position to pull her all of the way out of the shed. Uh, so that is, you know, it, it's getting closer. Um, another thing I can do as one of the points of, of pulling her this far forwards was to give me access to the stern end, but also to allow me to work on that pulpit. But yeah, I say, once she's painted, we'll pull her all the way out of the shed. Um, and then those things I started talking about. Then it's time to think about a few things. And obviously the keel is coming, it's getting close. Um, but before I jack her up to work on the keel, I think I should do some of the things on, on the decks that need doing. So I plan to build a hard dodger. That would be coming soon after dragging out, I think, after pulling her out of the shed. Hard dodger, the railings, um, those sort of things. And then when they're done, the hard dodger will be the mounting for the solar that I plan to fit. When that's done, then jack her up, start on the keel. Um, obviously when she's out of the shed, I have room in here to work on the keel to start with because it's quite a big construction. And also to start on the masts, two masts to build. So they'll be built in this shed when the boat's clear of it. So that's really the way things are looking. There's one or two little bits in interior to do, a bit in the engine room still to do. A couple of bits of finishing. Upholstery, I anticipate doing this winter. Um, you know, there's a few things still to do, some fiddles, little bits and pieces. But progress is good. When will we launch? I don't know. I can't say. I should just carry on working as best I can and we'll launch when we're ready. That's, that's all we can do. Uh, as soon as I possibly can, but only when she's ready. And it, it doesn't make sense to launch beforehand. At the moment she's here, I'm not paying rent on this, this location. So um, the, the most sensible thing to do is, is to do as much as possible here, get her as close to finished as possible here before I move her up to some place where I'm going to start paying money to have her there, you know. Um, so that's the way things are looking. Let's have a look at what's been going on this week.
That thing will stand, that one will come from there. And that one will come from there. Like that. That one there. That's it. If you like these videos, please hit that subscribe button and the notifications bell next to it if you haven't already. It's a great way to uh, support the channel and help us get out to a wider audience.
And as I say, fitted this fillet piece in the aft end. Really, it's a, it's a strengthening piece for those combings. Joins them all together, you know, solidly. Uh, it's largely, largely structural. Um, but yeah, looking good. Bit of uh, black locust trim along there. I'm going to put black locust trim around the tops of the combings. That'll be coming very soon. Which will run over there up to the point. And then she'll be painted the, the black the black locust will be, be varnished and she'll be painted in the white with the rest of the hull. Uh, should look good. As you probably know, we've been working on Hazel's boat on and off all over the last winter and through springtime. Um, doing a few things there, some issues she had, plus some upgrades and uh, a couple of things needed finishing off. We, we had, A couple of weeks ago, you saw us um, starting to install the autopilot. Well, needed to finish that off. And one other thing we wanted to do to that, was, which is something that's a bit of an issue that junk rig boats have. Um, because the, the unstayed masts, it's very, very difficult to put a radar reflector up anywhere. So um, we thought we'd try making a, a mast, you know, a short mast, a pole, if you like, that had two things on it. It had a radar reflector on it and a um, an anchor light on the top. So we thought we'd try that out. We'd make it make up a, it's about two and a half metres long, this, this pole, with those two things on it. Uh, so we did that, got a bit of 316 stainless, um, welded a couple of brackets onto it, and then took it up to a boat. Fitted that, finished the autopilot install, installation, and uh, she's ready to go now. I'm planning to go off for a summer cruise very soon. What's happening, Hazel? Uh, we are out of the marina. And who's steering? The computer. <laughs> the autopilot. Yes. It's steering, is it? Yeah, and it works. So just... And we tried it under sail as well, didn't we? Yeah. Not too shabby, eh? There's our destination up there. And that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. We'll be back next week with some more. A massive thank you from me to everybody who supports this, this project uh, on a Patreon, via PayPal, or through any of the sort of merchandising things, T-shirt, whatever. Thank you, guys. See you next time. Bye.